Hello YouTube and welcome back. This is Nico and you're watching Dare to Game. Today we're playing Kingdom Come Deliverance and we're doing a armor guide. This one being one that's been requested by several different users. Uh, the one we're going to be doing today is the suit of armor that Henry wears in the late game cutscene. So I think it's the ones headed towards Miranda Kilfort and then the ones where you're leaving with Hans Kipan. I can't remember for sure but I know that it's, it's a, his signature look. So yeah, let's just jump into it like we always do and start off with weapons. Now for weapons, I wasn't 100% sure what to go with because it's not overly clear, but I do know that in most cutscenes where it's not using the weapon that Henry actually has, he has some sort of a longsword. And I think it's the merchant sword or something, but I figured that was kind of lame. So I figured realistically, since Henry seems to be someone who enjoys longswords, I figured he'd buy the best one he could get, and the best one that you can buy in the game, now again, I'm saying the best one you can buy in the game, not steal or kill someone to get, is Herod's sword, and you can get it at the Rete sword shop. So I figured that's what I'd equip him with. So he has Herod's sword and a dagger. So now let's move on to clothing. So for clothing, we have the dyed Bavarian Gamson. Of course, we're going for that rich reddish burgundy-ish one. Uh, some green nobleman's hose, since we all know Henry loves green hose. Uh, the leather gloves are the gloves that I, I'm pretty certain he's wearing in the, in the pictures, at least. A necklace, because he needs to have his bling and represent. Noble's dark shoes. A signet ring, again, bling, represent. Silver spurs, because he's fancy, but not quite fancy enough for gold. So that is all the clothing, so let's see what he looks like with the chainmail. Okay, so for the chainmail, you can see he has the heavy hauberk on, and the reason I'm pretty sure this is the one is because in the pictures you can see uh, the gold around the bottom, and it's a flat bottom, and this is the only chainmail that has that, so quite certain this is the chainmail he wears. Then we have mail chosses, again, we know that he wears chainmail on his legs, and these are the only ones in the game, so that one's pretty easy. And he doesn't apparently wear a coif, but he does wear the reinforced mail collar, which you can see by it being a mail collar and have the little white cloth fringe around the inside. So that's the chain mail. Let's see what kind of armor he wears. So for armor that we can be sure he's wearing, because it's what he's wearing in the pictures and the videos and everything, we have the Arken, I mean the Aachen Brigandine Chosses. And I went for the slightly lighter ones with the little red fringes because I'm pretty sure this is exactly what he's wearing. Then we have the lighter red dyed Milanese Brigandine and the riveted pauldrons now there are two variants of riveted pauldrons there's these darker ones and then some lighter ones and i'm pretty certain it's these darker ones are the right ones that he wears but so that is that's the outfit but there's an addition that can be made because if you look at the promo art from the trailer where he's standing in the field wearing this suit of armor there's a helmet between his legs and now you can only see parts of it but i'm pretty certain that it's the Italian bassinet. I, I'm pretty sure that's what it is, and that would make sense considering he spends the majority of his time in Rete, and this is, you know, the best helmet that can be purchased in Rete. So I'm pretty sure this is the helmet that can be paired with the suit. Now, considering we don't explicitly see it, I'm going to keep a coif out here, even though, you know, if I was building the suit, I would have a coif. Also, I would have a full male coif instead of just, you know, the collar. But anyway, so if you want, you can include the bassinet. But anyway, now that we've seen all this, Let's just go through the stats. So for the total value of the suit, including the helmet, even if you're not wearing it, because you should keep it with you, the value is 13,938.6 groschen. So it's actually a really expensive suit of armor for, you know, what you get. The charisma of this suit, as you can see, is 15. So, you know, pretty good again for what you're, you know, what you're getting. And then we have two different AARs for this one. So the first AAR we're going to look at, or average armor rating, is for this suit without the helmet and that AAR is 65 so not great but probably better than a lot of the people you're going to be running into but I don't recommend going into helmet uh, going into battle without a helmet so with that in mind if you add the helmet the new AAR is 77.5 making it a lot better again like I've said before if you really wanted to improve this suit of armor and keep it looking you know like this at least with the helmet you'd put the best padded coif on and the best male coif you could find, which would be uh, one of the, you know, like a dark padded coif and the noble's male coif would be, you know, and that would improve this suit of armor significantly. But with all that in mind, this is Henry from the cutscenes, so you can get a good look at him. We'll just spin him around quick. And that does it for this one. Congratulations on making it to the end of the video. If you did, I can assume you like the content and hopefully you'll subscribe and turn on the notification bell. If you haven't already, check out these links I have on the screen to see me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. If you like my content and would like to support what I do here, there's a link to my Patreon account in the description, and a donation would be much appreciated. In any case, thanks for watching, and have a nice day.